Wouldn't it be great if Photoshop told us exactly what to write, exactly what we wanted to do? Well, there's a plugin uh, from Adobe called the Script Listener plugin, and once installed, every action that you make on Photoshop is recorded in a log in JavaScript, and you can access this to write your own scripts. So I'm gonna go through a very quick example today of the kinds of things that I would use um, that are, make, make things a lot easier that I don't have to write myself. Simple things like fixture templates would be a, a great example. Um, if you've got obviously a couple of fixtures going, but we'll go through one today. You've got a home and away team. You wanna obviously change the background color of your, te your box so that it matches um, the color of the team. And obviously, as you can see, as I'm clicking on these layers, you can see that Photoshop was recording all the actions um, in the log. So as soon as I click on here, it's telling me that I've selected the home layer. And then we are going to click on the fill. And as you can see, it says model, modal state changed. Um, and obviously I've picked the color picker. We are going to change this to a red color. And this is saying now that the, the modal has exit. The color picker has been closed. You want to ignore this one. This is just if you want to work with um, history states. But this is the one that we really want to. So we are going to copy this into a script file so that everything gets highlighted the syntax is easier to read so these are the the main rows that you want here for this sort of function you've got r g and b and then the values beneath them so we're going to change this back from red we're going to change this to a gray color so if we change these three values here And then run our script. It's now changed to grey. So how are you? How would you use this in a an actual script if you wanted to change multiple objects? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a function. We're just going to do change color, and then we're going to move this bit of code inside our function. And then we're going to identify what we're passing through. So the first thing we want to do is pass through the RGB codes. And then we want to take these values and put them in the correct places. So under red, we're going to do R, under green, G, and under blue, B. And then if you've seen a couple of my videos, you will know that Obviously, we need to call this function, so we're going to do change color. And then we're going to set this to a red color. I just closed my script by accident. And then when we run this, it changes the color. So now we need to identify which ones that we want to change. Because if we are looping through, say, a CSV file of full of fixtures, um, we need to tell Photoshop which layer we want to change. So we're going to add a another field in here called layer, and then in here we're going to do doc so we're accessing our current active document then we want to access the layers and we want to grab by name so get by name and then we're going to say layer because we're going to pass through in our function uh, the name of the layer that we want and then we're going to do 
dot dot active layer equals the layer that we want. So and remember it's case sensitive. So we're gonna target the home layer first and we're gonna change this to a dark color. Okay, and then we're gonna target the away and we're gonna change this to another color. Well, so when we wanna change, obviously, both of them in a script, um, we're obviously gonna be looping through either a CSV file or an API. Um, so we can target anything now uh, just by passing through the layer name in here. And obviously, um, the script list now is recording everything as we as we use it. Uh, say now we wanted to uh, change the color of the text. It's exactly the same. So as soon as we start clicking on anything in Photoshop, you see that the log is starting to fill up. So we are now going to change the text. Again, we want to ignore really the, the modal states and the history states. It doesn't really uh, mean anything. But again, this is the part that we want. So this is, so we're just going to go and create our function straight away because we know we're going to put it in there. Uh, change text color. And obviously, we already know we're going to be passing through um, an RGB value. And obviously, we want to pass through this so that we can set a layer that is active. And the place our red, green, and blue values here. Okay, so let's change the color of the home box and the home team at the same time. So this is change text color. So we're gonna change the blocks to a gray. And then we're gonna change the text to black. And we want the home and home team. There you go. Now let's change the away team. And we're going to change this one to black and then back to white. And this is just a fraction of what you can see being recorded in Photoshop. This is just a basic example of what I, I use the most from you, using the script listener. Um, I hope this you know has helped you a lot today. But if we switch over to our browser for a second, it's actually called script listener Photoshop. It'll be the helpx.adobe.com and there's a full instruction list on how to download it and install it both on mac and on windows um, have a play around with it i think on both mac and windows the log file records to the desktop and all you have to do is open it up in a text editor and as you are editing your photoshop file it will um, automatically update 